Here we find ourselves in 2 Chronicles. It has been 60 years Israel has had no peace. They have been in constant war for 60 years. The last time they had peace was during the rule of Solomon. Solomon ruled by building the temple, and the Israelites had peace during that time. But due to Solomon's sins, the kingdom was stripped away from him, and it was divided in two. And since Solomon's death for 60 years, kings have been wicked and evil, come and gone, and the nation of Israel has suffered, and they have been in battle, and they have been in wars and engaged in combat for 60 years without any peace. Sometimes that's how life is, isn't it? It's just one battle after the next. It's one war after the other. It is one fight and one conflict after the other. In chapter 18, what we see is this, that Israel was in a battle. In chapter 19, it was a little bit of a break. And then here we find in chapter 20, they were in another battle. That's how life is, isn't it, my friends? That you're in a battle, you get out of a battle, and all of a sudden you find yourself in another battle. You get a little victory, and then you finally take a breath, and all of a sudden there is another fight that you are about to face. Here's what I know as the pastor of this church is that there's only three types of people in this room. There are the people who are in a battle, just got out of a battle, or about to be in a battle. But there's no one in this room who has never been in a battle. Every single one of us has been in a battle, just got out of a battle. And if you're like, praise the Lord, well, get ready because you're about to be in another one. But that's just the way that life works. And so what do we do when we find ourselves up against an army, when we find ourselves down in the valley, when we find ourselves engaged in combat? Listen, you are constantly in war, which is why you need to continually be in worship. 